Iraqi forces close in on Islamic State controlled Mosul. Iraqi troops supported by Kurdish soldiers and U.S. led coalition air cover advanced on Islamic State fighters near Mosul on Monday as government forces sought to recapture Iraq's second largest city from the jihadist militant group. The Islamic State seized Mosul, its last major stronghold in Iraq, more than two years ago. The start of the military operation that represents the final phase of an assault that has been going on for several months was focused on Islamic State-controlled villages east of the sprawling city that is home to about one million civilians. The Associated Press reported seeing convoys of Iraqi, Kurdish and U.S. forces moving along the front line, where airstrikes sent plumes of smokes into the air and heavy artillery rounds could be heard. Backslash. Prime Minister Haider al abadi dressed in a military uniform and flanked by senior officers, announced the start of the operation on state television in the early hours Monday. These forces that are liberating you today, they have one goal in Mosul which is to get rid of Desh and to secure your dignity. They are there for your sake, Alabadi said, addressing the city's residents and using the Arabic language acronym for the Islamic State group. God willing, we shall win, he added. The operation could take weeks to complete and Iraq's security forces will face several thousand militants in Mosul. They are surrounded by improvised explosives and other obstacles, as well as ditches filled with oil that could be set on fire. The fighters vary in their level of commitment, but at least several hundred will be willing to die fighting, according to the Pentagon. This is a decisive moment in the campaign to deliver ISIL a lasting defeat, Defense Secretary Ashton Carter said in a statement referring to the Islamic State by an acronym. We are confident our Iraqi partners will prevail against our common enemy and free Mosul and the rest of Iraq from ISIL's hatred and brutality. Carter said the U.S.-led coalition was prepared to support Iraqi security forces in the key battle. About 12 U.S.-trained Iraqi brigades will be involved in the operation, in addition to thousands of loyal tribal and self-defense forces who will participate in securing the city once Islamic State militants are cleared from the city. A brigade generally numbers several thousand fighters. The enemy has had more than two years to prepare elaborate defenses in Mosul. Fighting on city streets is the most challenging type of warfare because militants can hide in buildings and in alleys making the use of air power or artillery difficult. The Islamic State also frequently uses human shields to avoid coalition firepower. Iraqi forces have already cleared major cities in the western Euphrates River Valley, including Ramadi and Fallujah.